Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to check out this video. I hope you are all doing well. And today I'm coming at you with a what I plan on burning for the month of May. April literally flew by. I mean, March felt like it took 37 years to complete. And then I blinked and April was over. So we're on to a new month of candle picks. I have no theme. No theme whatsoever. I, well, kind of. I kind of went with like citrusy-ish, sort of. Not really. I just picked whatever I felt like, you know. These are some trying times here, so we just got to enjoy what we got. All right, so I'm going to start off with what I'm burning in the living room. I'm going to be burning two of these babies. Frosted Coconut Snowball. And they have the really pretty lids. So, set notes on this are... Toasted Coconut Vanilla Musk Whipped Cream. I love this scent. It's like, even though it has winter packaging, it just like, you just turn it around and be fine. No big deal. I don't care about packaging whatsoever. I'm burning a sugared snickerdoodle right now from Christmas as well. Actually from this exact same line with like the pretty glitter and whatnot. Burning it and it smells amazing. Plus nobody's coming over to look at it anyway. So we're just going to love it. I just finished using this soap. Oh, really, really love the hand soap. I, I loved it. It was just, it smells like coconut cream pie. It's just creamy coconut. I love it. And it's interesting that they put this out at winter because I really don't even classify this as like a winter scent. I think creamy coconut, I think all year round, really. I know most people associate coconut with summer, but I just like creamy co coconut for whenever. It's just nice. It's just a really nice scent to have. So looking forward to that. I've never burned anything in the scent, the frosted coconut coconut snowball scent. Woo, what a mouthful. All right. So for the kitchen, I'm going with Cactus Blossom. This is really pretty packaging. I actually got it as a gift. It has the really nice embossed lid. Like I don't even remember this line, but it is from 2019. So it was there sometime. This is Cactus Flower Petal Sunkissed Coconut Vanilla and Fresh Sparkling Lemon. Such a gorgeous packaging. Like I said, the pretty flower. And this is just, just oh, stutter much. This is just such a, a lovely scent. You know, I didn't really like it because I'm not a floral girl, but something about that, the coconut that comes through and the lemon, you get like an after punch of like a lemon note. That sounded aggressive. It's not aggressive. It smells really nice. If it was just like cactus blossom, I wouldn't like it. But the coconut and the vanilla and the lemon, they just give it such a beautiful smoothness and like brightness. Like the floral is the brightness. And then the coconut gives it creaminess and smoothness. And it's just, and then the lemon gives a little bit of tart. It's just beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Love this. I burned this. This is actually my second one that I've burned in the kitchen. I really like it for the kitchen. I think if I burned two of those in the living room, it would just be like a little too much. And to enclose it in a bedroom, I think it would be a little too much for my particular liking. So the kitchen is perfect. All right, moving on to what I'm going to burn in the bedroom and whatnot. So I have Goose Creek's Spliss, Spl Splish Splash. My S's today are like all over the place. I love the label. It's such a gorgeous purple wax. So pretty. I love this scent. Two wicks. I have actually two of these. Oh, it's so bright and clean and fresh and lovely. I just love, I could not wait to burn this. I have two of them. I didn't want to burn one until I got another one and I, I have another one now, so... Oh man, it's just so, so lovely. I wish I had the set notes here, but I don't because unprepared. But it's just, it's clean, it's fresh, it's like slightly aquatic. I almost get like an apple, like a bright apple note for some reason. I don't even like apple, but it's just, it's a beautiful, beautiful fragrance that is very, very strong on cold at least. And um, I think is going to do really well. Fingers crossed. Next up, we've got Fresh Orange from Bath & Body Works in the matte packaging. 
Set notes, fresh grated orange zest, sparkling citrus, and white jasmine. I love this line, like all of the matching, like the matte, and then the label is orange, and then the wax is orange. I just like it, and I love orange scents. Now this one smells a little like citronella. I have two different batches. This one smells sort of like citronella. The other one smells like orange. So I'm going to burn this one first to just kind of get it out, honestly. Um, I'm not going to wait. I'm not going to return it. It's, I'm just going to get rid of it. So yes, it's orange, but it also smells very similar to citronella. The other one is a lot better. I talked about it in a haul, and I'm pretty sure one of my last Bath & Body Works hauls where I got this, I, I talked about how this one smelled different. And it certainly does. But nonetheless, we're going to see how it goes. And I, I'm sad because I love orange. Love orange. All right. From Goose Creek, again, we're going to try strawberry pound cake. The infamous strawberry pound cake. So pretty. Love the label. These are 14 and a half ounces. And on cold, it really smells almost identical to the, whoa, sorry, just so excited, so excited over strawberry pound cake. Um, it smells identical to the Bath and Body Works one on the, uh, on like scent memory. I'm actually burning a one wick strawberry pound cake now and it smells the same to my nose, it does. I've seen people say it smells the same. I've seen people say, nope, totally different. But um, according to my nostrils, it's very, very similar. Now, wind burning could change, but on cold, that's what I get. So, it's there's no explanation. <laughs> Such a cult favorite scent at this point. Everybody knows what strawberry pound cake smells like. Basically, everybody. Another one I'm really excited to try from Goose Creek. Another three wick in cotton candy. Yep, cotton candy. Love the color wax. Now, I said it when I hauled it. It doesn't smell like cotton candy. It doesn't. It smells like that generic oil that vendors use for cotton candy. It's just like a berry sugar scent. Um, yeah. But I'm excited to try it out nonetheless. I've seen some good things. I've seen some bad things as per usual with Goose Creek. So we'll see. But it is very strong on cold, which gives me high hopes for performance. But who knows? And then I have just a few things left. I have from Mainstays, Pineapple Fluff. Oh, I'm so, so sad that they might be discontinuing, discontinuing these guys. This one, it smells like pineapple. <laughs> um, a little artificial, not as good as like a higher end pineapple fragrance. Like if you were to get it from somewhere else. But nonetheless, I'm still very excited to burn it. I love the yellow. I think it's going to be so pretty. I just, I like it a lot. It's It just smells like, honestly, it just smells like pineapple. I really don't get much like anything else. It's kind of like a janky, cheap pineapple, honestly. But we're going to try it out. And I'm excited. I like them. They usually do really well. Pineapple is kind of usually a lighter scent, but this is very strong on cold. So I have high hopes. As I've said multiple times, I have high hopes. <laughs> and two last things. So another one I'm super excited about. Wow, I picked a good ones. Go me. This is our own candle company, Orange Creamsicle. This is so stinking cute, you guys, with this mason jar. I am totally saving this glass to make my Dalgona coffee and fets. If you guys have seen that trend. <laughs> yes, I jumped on the bandwagon, and yes, I'm not ashamed of it because it tastes really good. So, uh, orange cream to gold. This is okay, hard to open, but it's so cute. Look at that thing. And, oh, my God, this scent, you guys. Oh, orange creamsicle heaven wow i'm so excited i might just have to burn this one first just because i just <sighs> yes this is my type of set people mm. it's creamy it's orangey it's it's beautiful it's my baby it's my new baby i cannot wait to burn this baby it is so cute 
I'm hoping, 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 prying, keeping fingers, toes crossed that it does well because it is a one wick. It looks, it looks centered. I'm not gonna lie, it looks centered. But one wicks, ooh, they usually, they usually struggle and they don't give a lot of throw. But I am so looking forward to trying this because that scent is just so dang good on cold. I also have the root beer one, the root beer float one to try at a later time. Again, so excited. Okay, last thing we have here is a, another one wick in Lemon Cello for Bath and Body Works. It's Sorrento Lemons, Cane Sugar, and Lemon Zest. So strong. Absolutely love this scent. Mm, it's so good. It's very similar to Sugar Lemon Zest from Bath and Body Works, but I like that one better. It has a little bit more sugar to it. But Lemon Cello is a nice lemon fragrance very bright i'm very excited to burn it in the bathroom especially with the windows going to be open in may just very bright very cheery very yellow i love the yellow i wish the wax was yellow oh my god i need to i need to sit down um i just it's just so bright i also have a wallflower to match it so that's why i'm burning it to give it a little extra oomph um yeah i'm just really excited the one wicks have been doing okay in the bathroom. They've been performing really well. Burn, sometimes a little crazy, but it's okay. We can handle it. We've got nothing but time. So, I love these jars. Very excited to have the wallflower to match and to be burning a nice bright lemon scent. So, that is it, you guys. That's what I picked. Um, I think I'm going to get through it all, no problem. Um, I would pick another one like as a backup rotation just in case I get through all of these. I don't think I'm going to, especially with a large jar Goose Creek and a one wick. And these are 13 ounces. So it's a pretty decent size. And it says it burns up to 100 hours, which is a lot of time. So I don't have any backups. Usually sometimes I'll throw in, oh, if I finish, I might burn this. I don't have one because like I said, I, I'm pretty sure this will keep me occupied for a good amount of time but yeah really really looking forward to trying a bunch of these if you want reviews on anything just let me know down below because I'd be more than happy to film a little review for you guys um I think I think people have asked for cotton candy I think I don't know I don't remember but anyway if you do want a review please 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 let me know down below and I will be happy to give that to you guys Maybe I'll do a review on this one, whether anybody wants it or not, just for my own sake of doing it, because I don't really see anybody talk about that company. So it'd be nice to kind of give my perspective on it. But yeah, anyway, yeah, just let me know. Let a girl know. We'll chat it out in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below if you guys have a theme. What have you picked? Are you like so excited for fresh scents? You're going aquatic because we're kind of in the rainy season still. Let a girl know. Are you moving on to Strictly Summer? I just, I just want to talk to you guys. I miss you guys so much from not making as many videos. So yeah, let's chat in the comments. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.